Hello again guys, it's me again, Junkmaster3 and I'm back with a new video and this video was requested by Lola Spacement here on YouTube I'll put the link down below in the description so we can get to his channel and subscribe to him and all that he's a great guy and make really fun videos and so on uh, but enough talk about that, now I'm going to make this list and it's actually top 10 um, Asian movies but this list was so goddamn hard to do so I actually made a top 20 uh, list instead because it's so extremely hard to just pick 10 movies and you just yeah so I actually decided to make a top 20 instead and um, I've also uh, chosen to include like uh, sequels and prequels but if it's like a trilogy or two movies uh, like a sequel I decided to make it like one place so two movies like can be at one place um, and at the same time so uh, yeah I think you understand what I mean so let's begin immediately number 20 we got a nice uh, really li nice looking samurai movie and it's with zombies or zombie or whatever samurai zombie directed by Tak Sakaguchi a really nice looking movie. It was a while since I saw it, so I got to rewatch it again, so I can't really say that much about it. So, yeah, anyway, Samurai Zombie. And at number 19, we got the two movies Tetsuo, The Iron Man, and Tetsuo, Body Hammer. Um, and like I said, it's, it can be two movies in one if you say so. Uh, this is some really crazy stuff, actually. So, uh, this is not really a I don't see it as a movie, I just see it as a, uh, is a, an experience, so uh, if you want a really nice and cool looking experience, check out Tetsuo, um, yeah, really nice, I, re I, I mean the first one is in black and white and the second one is in color, but I, lo I really like them both, but I think I like Iron Man a little bit more, but yeah, Tetsuo. Uh, not the third one, no, there's a third one out there, but I haven't bought that one yet, so yeah. And number 18, we got a really nice and funny um, splatter adventure wretched movie, or whatever you want to call it. And it is Alien vs. Ninja. And I know very many people hate this movie. I just gotta love it because it's so bad and it's so fun. So, yeah, really fun stuff. So, and it's not really not, it's not really that long either. It's just one hour and 20 minutes. So, yeah, it's still it's really a really nice movie. Alien vs Ninja. And number 17, we got an extreme movie. This is probably the only extreme movie on this list, I believe. Well, maybe not, but uh, the movie is um, made by Koji Shira Shirashi. Can't really pronounce his name, but the movie is grotesque. Oof, it is grotesque. So, um, yeah, look at, just look at the back, it's just yeah, brutal stuff, and on the cover right there is blood all over the place. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool looking, I mean, it's good for what it is, so, yeah, grotesque. And number 16, we got a sort of a sci-fi action movie, also from Japan, I think all of these titles that I've shown you is from Japan. But yeah, anyway, um, number... Now I've lost count again, sorry. Uh, number 16, we got Returner. Um, some people say that it's some sort of a Japanese movie that is compared with Matrix. I don't really see why this is Matrix. I mean, maybe some similarities, but I, didn't, I wouldn't say that it's like Matrix, but uh, it's really enjoyable and good and yeah, great action sequences, and some people actually is complaining about the special effects and everything. I just thought it was amazing, so yeah, Returner, number 16. And number 15, we got a uh, uh, Takashi Miike movie, and probably the most known uh, Takashi Miike movie as well. And the movie is Audition, and it starts like a drama movie, but in the end it just turns... It's just like a horror movie in the end, so... Yeah, really creep, creepy feeling when you're watching this movie, and um, 
the acting, the acting in this movie is really great uh, as well. So uh, yeah, very creep as well. Yeah, check it out if you haven't seen it. Audition. And number number fourteen, we got uh, John Hughes, Hard Boiled with uh, Show Yun Fat. And if you're a fan of John Hu. You really need to see this movie. This is one of his best, in my opinion, of those that I've seen. So, um, yeah, great. I mean, it's just so explosions everywhere and motorbikes and cars and, yeah, great action sequences in this. I mean, if you're looking for a really deep plot, don't pick this movie. Uh, this is just mostly like action, just pure action. So, yeah, hard boiled. And number 13 is a movie that I didn't saw for. I don't know, it was a while since I saw it now, but the movie is called Go Em On. Um, I had some problems with this, and it was the special effects that I wasn't really a that big fan of, but uh, I still like the movie. And if you look, it, if you look uh, at this movie at like a big screen, um, it just makes it even better in my opinion but yeah sort of a war movie so yeah really recommend it and still I mean I don't hate the special effects but uh, it's not the best special effects but it's still good for what it is so yeah go on and number 12 we got old boy not going to say that much more about this movie because I think all of you probably already know about this yeah old boy and number 11, we actually got the trilogy, uh, and that was what I mean, meant before that I could pick three movies or the trilogy in one place. Uh, and now at number 11, we got the Dead or Alive trilogy by Takashi Mikian. I can't really know what to do like that. But the first one, Dead or Alive, really great, the best ones in the series. And uh, Dead or Alive 2, Birds, and Dead or Alive Final. And I actually think the third one is pretty underrated, uh, to be honest. I think it's much better than the second one, uh, but it's still a really great movie. So yeah, Dead or Alive, this trilogy is really a must-have if you really like Takashi Miike. And at number 10 we got a really crazy sci-fi samurai sort of movie. Uh, and the movie is called Dororo. Yeah, it's. I don't really know what to say about all these movies. I mean, I, I love them all. So, um, yeah. It's sort of. I mean, it's about this guy that his uh, soul is like. All his uh, body parts are like getting. Uh, he's getting into some sort of doll or something like that. Uh, not like Pinocchio, but. Uh, he has got these blades instead of his hands and all that and he fights to get his uh, body back so he has to defeat all kind of different monsters and so on to get uh, back all his body parts so yeah total really great movie and number nine we got a movie by uh, Rigei Kitamura and um, yeah don't really know what else to say but I think I've mentioned this movie before but Sky High. I've already talked about this movie, I believe, in some of the videos. I'm not really going to go that deep into it, but yeah, Sky High. Great movie. Number 8, uh, we got the uh, Jet Li movie. And this is actually the only Jet Li movie uh, on this list. Uh, and it's probably one of my favorites of, out of all of them. Um, and the movie is Tai Chi Master. Great fighting sequences, great storyline, and great acting. What else can, do you need? Uh, and we, when it comes to Jet Li, he really knows how to kick ass. So yeah, Tai Chi Master, really, really great movie. I think it's a no. It was not a two disc. I thought it was a two disc uh, special edition, but there was a lot of special featurettes, like you can see here on the back. But yeah. And number seven is um, a movie that I saw pretty recently, uh, actually just a couple of days ago, I believe. Um, 
And this is actually a remake. I didn't really know that when I bought it. I just bought it because of the cover and I just read a little bit about it. And the movie is Hidden Fortress, uh, The Lost Princess. And this is a remake of uh, Akira Kurosawa movie. And I've not seen a single Akira Kurosawa movie yet, so don't be mad at me if, I, if you don't see any Akira Kurosawa movie in this list. But I thought it was, this one was hilarious, great adventure, action, fighting movie. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I really love the characters in this movie. And the acting was really great as well. Um, so what else do you need for a good movie? Hidden Fortress, The Lost Princess. And number six, um, we got another Takashi Miike movie, and uh, it is Thirteen Assassins. And I really love the storyline in this, and uh, just just the title Thirteen Assassins just looks just sounds amazing. And um, the final battle in the movie makes the whole movie even even better. And it's pretty violent and gruesome at parts, but what the hell, it's probably one of the best Mickey movies recently, uh, made recently, so uh, yeah, 13 Assassins, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, yeah. And at number 5 we got another Takeshi Miki movie, and this is my favorite Takeshi Miki movie of all time, and it's also probably one of his most uh, disturbing uh, movies actually, and the movie is Ichi the Killer. And uh, like probably like, with all of uh, Takeshi Miike movies, uh, I love uh, the storyline in his movies and just all the kind of different characters and all the weirdness. So uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, I'm not really going to say anything else about this. But if you look, if you find this movie for a good price, pick it up immediately. Yeah, great movie, Ichi the Killer. And number four uh, is a movie that. I've probably seen like 20 times or even more and I never get tired of it and it's in my opinion Jackie Chan's best movie that he's been in and the movie is New Police Story and I prefer this over Police Story and um, Super Cop. The reason why is uh, I mean it got both humor and uh, I mean it's Police Story is just like uh, the first Police Story it's like a sort of a comedy in some places and all that. This is not that. It's this is more serious uh, and uh, yeah, great stunts by Jackie Chan himself and great acting and I really love the bad guys in the movie and yeah, all the chase uh, chases and yeah, great new police story. Much better than police story in my opinion. And at number three we got another. Kitamura movie and uh, the movie is Versus. I picked this up for like 10 Swedish crowns and that's about that is like uh, a little bit more than one dollar and that's one of the best one dollar that I've ever spent. Um, this is just awesomeness and this is probably I think this is a pretty low budget movie but I don't see how this is a low budget movie because I think it's a masterpiece um, and all the craziness, I mean it's zombies and there's samurai fighting scenes and gunfights and all kind of crazy things going on in this movie so if you want to see a really crazy and awesome movie check out Versus. And at number two we got the two movies Battle Royale and Battle Royale 2. Um, sorry for the ref reflections like that, all the, by the way. But uh, I don't really see why everyone seems to hate the second movie. I love this movie as well. Uh, maybe not the f as much as the first one. The first one is, of course, much better. But I don't really, I don't really know why everyone hates this movie. It's really great. This is a masterpiece, and this is definitely a masterpiece as well. Battle Royale, the first movie. Um, I'm not going to say anything else because because I'm speaking about these movies all the time. So yeah, material. And at number one we got one of one of the best movies that I've ever seen uh, from Asian and 
of out of all movies that I've seen, uh, and the movie is Asumi and Asumi 2. Great samurai movies. I love the acting and the all the kind of different characters and the sword fights and and the storyline and everything. Um, and the first one is also directed by Kitamura. The second one I can't really, can't really remember who the f who, who directed the second one. I can't even pronounce his name, so I'm not going to bother. But yeah, if you haven't seen these movies, Asumi and Asumi 2, go out and see them immediately. You won't be disappointed. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Even though this was pretty a pretty long video and yeah, pretty bad English in some parts, but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed and didn't get bored, and I hope to see you again as soon as possible, so see you next time, bye bye.